Hi guys, just Jen here, Cleveland Street Novelties. Happy Easter, everybody! I hope you guys are having the very best Easter today. I hope the Easter Bunny has brought you all sorts of super special treats. And guess what? I got something super special from the Easter Bunny too. Ah, look! Now I'm sure many of you mega Living Dead Doll fans out there already know who is hiding in this super awesome 13th anniversary coffin and I can't wait to share with you. Check it out! Look at all around. It's got all the little hash marks on it for 13. These were um, uh, clearly 13 years after the very first series came out. So 13 years of dolls declared dead. Creepy, twisted, and full of dread. Little harbingers of nightmares spawned from a twisted dream are celebrating they're unlucky 13. Oh my God, you guys. So for those of you who don't know who's hiding inside here, it's clearly who I'm modeling my look after today. Ah, look! It's super sweet, super cute exorcist. Oh my God, you guys. She's so absolutely adorable. So you guys probably already know Exorcist, the original one, again, this is the 13th anniversary one, but the original one was in the very first series. So you had Posey in that series, and Damien, and Sadie, and Sid, and oh, cute little Exorcist. Now, I personally do not have any of the series ones in my personal collection. I didn't start collecting until series two when I got my first Lizzie Borden because she was just so cute, little doll with a hatchet. But look how fabulous she is. Even though she's not from the series one, she's still so super cute. Look at, we've got matching lavender hair. And I love how this is more of like, like a little hood, like a hat. And then of course, it's tied with the cute little noose around her neck. And I just want you to show all the way down. It's so super soft. She's got this cute little pink belly, which I absolutely adore. And then hop, hop, hop. Ah, a cute little bunny tail. Is she not the best? And I'm sure you can notice. Boom. Check it out. She clearly has a little accessory coming with her. <gasps> you guys know I love when my dollies have accessories. And look. She's got a creepy little Easter basket. It's like a vintage style Easter basket. I love the shape of it. I love that the handle looks like it's even kind of wicker, um, sort of braided handle. And then look inside. She's got her own little special treat. She's got a little Easter egg cockroach. Wow. Look, look how big she is. Oh, well, the, look how big the cockroach is compared to how little she is. Mm, they love each other. It's so cute. So now when this doll came out, there were a whole ton of like other variants they came out. There was um, from the 13th. Uh, anniversary, there was a resurrection or a variant that came out. And I really, looking at them online, it was hard to tell the difference. It looked like maybe the eye color was like a little bit different, but the suit and everything pretty much looked the same. You super mega fans out there who have done your research, you probably know what the difference is, and I would love for you to let me know. So please, in the comments, tell me, what's the difference between the 13th anniversary and the variant 13th anniversary? What also was super cool is they came out with the blue version. She had white hair and she had this cute little blue suit. And that was for, of course, one day I'm going to get there. Uh, San Diego Comic-Con had an exclusive. Oh, my God. I live for these Comic-Con exclusives, you guys. I can't wait for just Jen to take this show on the road and get some exclusive dolls for us, right? Well, then they also put out these fuzzy suit variants. Ooh. Oh my gosh, to be able to wear one of those suits in real life would just be a dream come true. So the US one, um, I think it had red hair and black fuzzy suit. And then there was a UK one, and the UK one um, had black hair and it was a gray fuzzy suit. But my favorite <gasps> to look at it, it shines so bright like a little diamond in the sky. Absolutely love it. Was the Japanese variant. Bright green hair, so beautiful. Green, like even brighter than the grass in her basket right there. And then this suit, oh, it's like this day glow, sunshine, bright yellow. is so beautiful. And the colors together just epitomize spring and are like the best Easter basket colors you could ever imagine. But 
I got this one, and I love this one the most. That's what, because she's here with me looking fabulous with those great, just white out eyes looking so possessed and demonic, just like the little Reagan and the Exorcist, and then the beautiful black lips. <gasps> I just love her so much, you guys. And another fun detail I wanted to share real quick was, look, she's got cute little, like, rubberized feet at the bottom to make it so much easier for her to stand up. Oh, my gosh, my little cockroach is jumping off here. But thank you guys so much for letting me share part of your Easter with you and sharing this super sweet doll with you guys. Um, have a wonderful Easter too. And also make sure you guys are subscribing. Do you even know how many dolls are coming out this year? So many dolls. And I can't wait to share them with you. And on top of the dolls that are coming out that are new, you know I'm always going to throw in some old ones and uh, revisit some too just to have some fun with it. So make sure you guys subscribe. And as always, comment below and tell me what you like and tell me what you didn't like. Tell me what you got for Easter. Tell me the coolest thing that you got in your Easter basket because I'm not sure if it's going to be any better than this little sweetie right here. Thanks again, you guys. I will see you soon so soon. Bye. Hi guys. Do you like living dead dolls, mystery minis, cool fun Funko toys, horror movies, walks in the cemetery? Me too. Make sure you guys subscribe.